What is good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cap back with another Xenoverse 2 DLC 8 video for you guys. Today we're going to be talking about DLC 8 and why honestly, it to me it was not that great all around. I'm not just talking about the characters, let me say this right here right now. I do like Broly and Gogeta Blue, but when you're talking about the DLC, you got to look at everything that came with it. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. And honestly... This, if you have not bought the DLC to this point, this video may change your mind and may sway you from buying it due to some of the things that you will be hearing in it. Now, one thing I do want to mention for the last time is this week's Sub Saturday announcement. Guys, if you have not seen the other videos where I did announce it, this week's Sub Saturday is going to be your sickest and most insane combos with either DLC 8 characters or DLC 8 skills. Now, when it comes to just using the skills with your CAC, I will allow you to maybe use one or two other skills that are not DLC 8 related in your combo and still accept those, but try and keep it primarily DLC 8 related when it comes to your CACs and using these DLC 8 skills. So again, be sure to send those clips to either the email, Discord, or Twitter, all linked down below in the description. But jumping into this video, talking about, you know, the DLC 8, how I feel about it, why I truly feel that it was very, very underwhelming, and why I do not recommend buying it unless you are literally just getting it for Gogeta Blue and Broly. Now let's first start talking about Gogeta Blue and Broly because I think they are good characters. I like both of them as characters. The only issue I really have with these two characters is their super attacks really aren't that great first and foremost and their ultimates are okay as well. Now first starting out with Gogeta Blue, he really doesn't have any good attacks in my opinion. Assault Vanish is good in my opinion for like people who are timid and like to stay back and things like that. Besides that really doesn't have much use. Then you got Punisher Shield which really is a very very weak counter like very very weak counter it can counter everything but at the same time very very weak and then you got the spirit blaster which does absolutely no damage and puts your opponent into a stamina regen an infinite kind of stamina regen where they get that extremely fast stamina recovery while they're being hit by it and you're only getting like 1600 damage from the move anyway so those three attacks right there really really are not good at all i really do not like them like i said i like gogeta blue his combos are dope him as a character is sick just wish they would have made his skills better and then you got god punisher which really wasn't a great skill either it's not good at all it's not i mean unless you use it in the cheese unvanishable way the move is not good at all it's not something you want to use during a stamina break not optimal for a stamina break in any way because of how long it takes to actually land and then you're not getting the most damage out of it as well anyway so again his skills that came with him brand new wise really are not that good at all the feature that i loved though that came with him brand new as far as like you know skills go i guess you could say is the whole super kamama absorption thing the fact that he can do that is absolutely lit i really really like that feature of gogeta blue again as characters i like them it's just some their skills are really really underwhelming in my opinion and now when we talk about broly guys looking at his skill set for at first you think you know his moves are pretty cool pretty disrespectful things like that but at the same time they both both gigantic rage and gigantic charge take two bars of key neither of them do over 3500 damage and the only one that does that much is gigantic charge when you fully charge the move you're not going to really land that move fully charged on someone unless you're being like disrespectful with a heavy stamina break or something along those lines so these moves really do not do the most damage at all and take two bars of key now yes they have that super armor feature which is cool but at the same time i feel that is very balanced i actually like the super armor feature i feel that it is a balanced part um they balanced it out very well in my opinion because it basically is an evasive it's a strong evasive in my opinion with gigantic rage you're getting 2900 uh damage pretty much or 3000 damage pretty much with that move but you got to spend two bars of key and use three bars of stamina if you're going to use it with the super armor way while you are being attacked so again it basically becomes an evasive that's stronger than most evasives but at the same time does take two bars of key so i really do like that feature but again the skills themselves really are not that great 
Like, none of his skills really are that great. Gigantic Roar is not bad, but at the same time, it is not something that is great. It's really only good when you are in that danger area of health. Besides that, the move does not do the damage that you would want from a 5-bar key move. It's You're going to get like 8,000 or 9,000 damage at most, and this is a move that takes 5 bars of key. You definitely want more out of 5 bars of key. Like I said, it's good when you have low health, but besides that, really is not that good either. So honestly, the characters in Broly and Gogeta are definitely definitely dope but at the same time their skills really are not that great and that that leads me to the next thing that i absolutely hate about this dlc and that is the stupid rng this is literally what ruined the dlc and why i would say unless you are buying it for the characters alone do not buy this dlc you will literally have to grind all day and night just for these skills that aren't even that good these skills are not even that great, and you have to grind so long just to get them. There's five brand new parallel quests. I've done at least 150 parallel quests between the five, doing them over and over and over and over and over and over again. Literally, it is absolutely terrible. Like, I, I made a little bit of a short skit, I guess you could say, of what it is truly like to deal with this DLC 8 RNG. Seno gods, please give me the skill on the first time. I really do not want to waste all day just trying to grind on this skill right here. Please let me get it, Zeno. Five minutes later. Okay, understandable. You know, it was the, it's the first attempt. You know, let's try this again. Five minutes later. Two times in a row, I got the I got the ultimate finish. I got the ultimate finish two times in a row. You gotta give me the skill now, right? Really? Two ultimate finishes? And I just get a couple Z souls? Or super souls, whatever you want to call it? I guess I gotta do it again. Five minutes later. Five times now! Five times I've gotten this ultimate finish. Please! One time! Just drop me one time! This this RNG is terrible! Please, I know, please! All I'm asking for is one single drop. Not even, you know, both of the skills. Just one of the skills. I've done the X ultimate, ultimate finish five times. Five times. And still, no skill. I guess I gotta keep trying. Three hours later. This is my 20th time getting the ultimate finish now. I gotta get this skill after this time. I, I, I don't even think I can take this anymore if I do not. Please, Zeno Gods. Give me the skill! I'm, I'm sorry, controller. I'm not going to throw you. It's not your fault. It really isn't. It's, it's just the game's fault. So, I, I think I'm just going to nicely put you down and re just retire. Ow! Damn, that wall was close! The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> All right, now that you see what it is truly like dealing with this DLC ARNG with these parallel quests, I hope you guys get an understanding of why I say that this DLC was very underwhelming, not only for the character's skills, the characters are good in my opinion, but their skills are not that great, and then it takes so long just to be able to get these skills. And they also introduced an RNG um, thing with the whole My Raid boss with the crystals. That mode is fun. That mode is dope. It's lit. Great concept. But at the same time, we have to grind expert missions and deal with RNG and have a chance at getting a Demon Raid Crystal so we can actually be the Demon Raid boss and play that brand new mode. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when it comes to expert missions, I did about 40 of those and only got like five crystals. That's one crystal every eight expert missions. That's absolutely insane. So the RNG really really in my opinion ruined this dlc really took it down a lot could have been a lot better this dlc could have been so much better if you didn't have to spend so much time just grinding to unlock stuff like where have you heard of a dlc where you buy you pay for dlc but then you gotta grind to unlock it like imagine i mean obviously one of the most popular games is fortnite imagine buying a skin in fortnite but then you gotta win an online game you gotta win a battle royale just to unlock it huh like, do you, you, you understand? Like, that's absolutely crazy that we have to pay for this stuff and then we have to just do these parallel quests and hope that these um, skills will actually drop. 
within these parallel quests. When you pay for something, you should have that immediate access to it. I like the system a lot better of when most of the skills would be in the TP metal shop and you could get them most just for TP metals. I did not mind that system at all because I was able to get them right away, day one, right when the DLC dropped. As opposed to this new system, it takes forever to get these skills, guys, and it's one of my biggest issues with this DLC. And then on top of that, the whole gifts that they... um gave out the gifts were only in the shop for three days they'll be back for another five days i believe but the fact is that this is part of the paid dlc or not actually it's part of the free dlc never mind excuse me on that but again just talking about the rng like i said with these skills and things like that unless you are literally going to buy this dlc for the characters i truly do not believe that this dlc is worth it because one the skills are very very underwhelming and then it takes forever just to be able to unlock the skills now one dope feature of it without question is the tournament of power map that is definitely something that that makes this dlc a little bit more worth it but again man if you are doing this for your cac you want to get new skills things like that do not buy this DLC, guys. It is definitely not worth it, in my opinion. I honestly regret almost buying it, in a sense, because I'm not going to use one of these skills except Gigantic Rage, just to be disrespectful. And then, like I said, the characters are nice, but at the same time, compared to others, they're not as good because their super attacks really are not that good as well. So let me know you guys' thoughts on everything that I had to say in this video. How do you feel? Do you agree or disagree? Because everybody's opinion is different. I personally feel that this DLC was very, very underwhelming and another great example of why they should just stop with DLC on Xenoverse 2 and move on to Xenoverse 3, start working on that game. Because clearly every DLC they drop, in my opinion, there's just always something wrong with it. Whether it be the characters not being completed or the RNG just being an absolute just, just, just bastard you know trying to unlock the skills it's just always something when it comes with the dlcs and on top of that they didn't even fix the netcode or gameplay or address anything like they said they would you know they threw out that first part of the netcode fix and supposedly with dlc 8 we were going to get another part but that did not happen at all so again this dlc was very very underwhelming in my opinion but let me know your thoughts on everything i said in this video how do you guys feel about it do you agree or disagree because again everybody has different opinions but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time really really hope you have a good day hey shout